on my hydraulic bottle jack press here. This thing I designed to take with me on site, so that's why I never put legs on it. I'm finally getting around to putting legs on it now I'm here in this garage. So I would need legs that are removable. And I thought it'd be nice to go ahead and make them adjustable in height. So that is what I am working on. I wasn't actually going to film this video at first. So I went ahead and built the legs, just two inch channel iron on two inch square tubing, thin wall. I was actually just going to bolt them to the press real quick. Uh, that way if I want to take the press on site with me, which I occasionally do, I could take the legs off, set it on the bed of my truck. I came up with this adjustable mount idea. I actually stole this idea from a tractor front axle. That's how they adjust them, so I'm just duplicating that. But I thought I'm going to go ahead and show you all this because this is a really good way to securely mount square tubing inside of square tubing. I think it's a really good solid mount. They do this on tractors, so it must be very good. We'll start off by making the pin, and this is some one inch diameter 1018 cold rolled steel. I wanted to lay it down and square the ends using the side of the end mill, but since I just got this milling machine, I didn't have very many end mills to choose from, so it was either my 5 16 end mill or a 1.4 inch end mill. And the 1.4 inch just seemed kind of like overkill. So I had to set the shaft up on its end and whittle it back and forth to square the ends of the shaft. And that worked out just fine because, well, I had to make the flats in it, so might as well have it upright to do the flats. Parts. And it's just a matter of drilling and tapping a hole, and then we'll start on the square tubing. Anyway, that's what the pin looks like. I'll drill all the way through it with this drill bit that's just slightly over half inch, and I'll drill the top hole at one inch. So now I just need to run my reamer down. This is a 10 thousandths over one inch. So the way this works, in theory, all right, there's a big hole on this side, and a little hole on that side, just like on the square tubing, big hole little hole. This is a one inch hole. This is just over a half inch hole. So when they slide over this special nut, I guess we'll call it, goes through the inch holes and it hits that wall. Bolt. We'll go in here. And that'll tighten up, which draws the tubing together on this side. As you can see, it pulled it away here. If you notice, I got the two seams of the tubing on this side. That way, they don't interfere with it squeezing together. So, anyway, that tightens up, sandwiches it here. There is no wiggle on that thing. That is tight, tight, tight. For some reason, thought I had all the holes drilled in these legs. Okay, so we'll put the holes in this leg. Since I have the DRO, I'll run through and drill completely through the square tubing with a slightly over half inch bit. Then I'll switch to my one inch bit, and come back through all the holes, and drill the one inch hole on this top side only. Thank you. 
And I simply slip the leg up in there, put in the pin and tighten the bolt. That is really, really nice. I probably won't adjust this thing on height very often. I just decided since I wanted to make the legs removable, might as well make it adjustable too. It doesn't take that much more time to put in a few extra holes, right? But this will be pretty nice. Now I just gotta move this thing over and set it against the mill. And then I'm gonna start in on the next project. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. We'll see y'all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Wrenches.